Okay, hi. How Rich. are you doing? Nice to My see you. My name is Bjorn. Hi, how Bjorn. are you? Very good, how are you? <laughs> you are not Richie Rich, right? No. Okay. No. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, I have an acrylic tank now. Okay. And it's so beautiful. The colors from the cobbles are looking so nice and it's... I love it. <laughs> but there's one problem. Uh, you get very fast uh, scratches. And you have something against scratches? Let me show you how to fix scratches. It's easy. Okay. Okay. Let's do the demonstration. Okay. Where are you from? I'm originally New York. Now I live in Florida. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> So, I will try that on your tank. <laughs> no, we will. Uh, we won't tr try it on my tank. This is the sanding block. Okay. This is designed so it is held properly. Sandpaper is peel and stick, so the person is not wrestling with holding it on the block. We have 400, 800, and 1200 grit papers. <laughs> For this one, I could use 800 to start. So this is the first step? Yes. Okay. The scratch is going this way. So I'm going to sand across the scratch. Okay. We use plain water with a little bit of dish liquid soap to lubricate it. And you sand in one direction across the scratch. You can also do this underwater? We have a process for underwater, which okay. I'll show you. Without uh, dish soap? <laughs> Without the soap. <laughs> the soap won't do good with the corals. Yeah. <laughs> Very important when you do the first step to get it all. See there's still a little bit? If we don't get that now, it'll be nice and good, but you'll still see it. Okay. So we got to get it out. Okay, scratches out. Oh, no, no, no. There's, There's a little, little bit, little, yeah, little bit more. Still, oh, it's still, still, yeah, still very little, little. It's getting better. Almost gone. No, I made a good scratch. Still a touch. Okay.
Yeah, we got it. Okay, but now the okay, so surface is blind. Well, first you take out the scratch, then yeah. you repair what you did to the surface. Okay. So with 800, we went across this way. Yeah. Now I'm going to turn it and go across what I did. So you take an even layer. Okay. And we're going to use the 1200 paper. With the first step, you sand until it's gone. With this step, if you listen, you can hear the paper and you could, it gets quiet when you're done. Okay. That's smooth now. Yeah. So, now we go to our sanding pads. This is a medium grit pad. We have a speed control. When you sand with this pad, you run at about 75% power. This is our polishing paste. It's 80 microns out of the jar, and as you use it, it reduces down to zero. Okay. So this is your partner when you polish. You use very little, just two drops is enough. And when you polish, you don't use the water with the soap. Okay. You use just plain water. Step is a white pad, which is the softest grid of polishing pads. Same as before, a little bit of polish, plain water. When you do this, you want to do all smooth, broad strokes. Okay. None of this, because if you do this, it'll show in the material. This is our pre-polished pad. It's a synthetic material. It won't burn, it won't tear. This pad you do faster. You go to about 90% power. This is the final step. This is the finished polish pad. Everything we did up to now, you do nice and easy. This okay. pad, you go full speed and you lay into it when you use it.
That should do it. Okay. Yeah. There's no scratches anymore. Scratch is gone, material is smooth, looks good. Great. Underwater, you no. want to know? Uh, is it, what is the difference between both uh, results? Gilberto, where's the plume? Underwater, obviously, we're not using electricity. Yeah. <laughs> this is an air driven tool. Okay. Um, when you work underwater, this tool will suck right onto the panel like a plastimus. Okay. And you can maneuver it easily without even holding the tool. You can run off of the air cord. The pads we use are a little bit different. Bigger. <laughs> well, this is bigger. I've also got them in that size, but um, this gold pad, which is the same pad I use here, is where you normally start. And the idea is you don't want to do more work than you have to. So you do this, if the scratch is out, you move on. If you still see the scratch, you've got to go backwards. So we've got a little bit more aggressive pad okay. that should get it out. If you have something very bad, like puffer teeth marks or that, there's a stronger pad than this. Okay. So step by step, first you get the scratch out, then you repair the surface. So it's this pad to the same white pad. And underwater, you can't use polish. So in lieu of polish, three micron, two micron, and one micron. These pads are aluminum oxide. Okay. So when you do this process, you'll remove phosphates from the water, and the <laughs> corals will be full and happy when you're done. OK, that's good. If you have a tank where you look straight through the front only, at this step, you're done. Okay. If you could look through the side or look through the back, yes. you're going to yes. see the work you did, Absolutely. and you could take that out with this pad. Okay. And that's the deal. Um, is it harder or easier to do it underwater? It's actually easier because when you use this tool, it kind of has its own mind, and you've yeah, got yeah. to get the technique to hold it straight. Yeah. Underwater, the tool does all the work. Okay. So. Uh, can, uh, the big question for me now is, uh, can I use this for my own at home? Why not? Or I don't have the machines, maybe? Well, or? we sell the kits that come with the machines. W with this, uh, I don't know the name in English, is it a, a polishing tool? A polishing in, tool? In the okay. basic kit we have for do-it-yourself home fixes? No, this, this is one? the big professional kit. Okay. In, in the small store kit. It comes with an arbor that you could use in your own drill. Okay, but only outside the water? Outside the water, or underwater one time only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for the machine for or for me? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both, okay. Both, they'll bury you together. <laughs> and um, can I also do the underwater uh, thing for, uh, for my own? You could do the underwater thing for your own. You can also use the underwater tool on the outside. But it okay. takes a little bit of experience because with the electric tool you can set your speed. Yeah. With this tool you need to understand the speed with your ear. Okay. But you also sell. We those, sell those all machines. the components, all the okay. kits, all the parts. So what's the price for it? Ranges in price from fifty dollars US for, this one or? for the smallest yeah. one, all the way up to forty five hundred US. Okay. For the full professional kit. With the both machines. Yeah, all three machines. It comes with two different electric polishers and the underwater polisher. Okay. And all the pads and all the accessories you need to do the work. This whole thing? This is it. Oh, that's big. <laughs> okay. No, it was very interesting to see how you removed the scratch. It was my first time to see this. So, uh, thank you very much for the demonstration. Thank you. And hope to see you soon. Should I mention Ink and Lux? Nicholas? In Germany, this is available through Econlux. Uh, Econlux, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's our next uh, next video. Good. No, for <laughs> <Thank the> LEDs. <laughs> very good. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.